I've signed up for one of Professor Juntani's classes this term at OIST. I'm excited to explore the robotic mind with some fellow students. One student I've been chatting with about reinforcement learning recommended I looked into Soft Actor Critic with a Python package called Tianxi. Here's the package's citation. I, I um, sometimes forget a bibliography when I'm making these Talking Squid videos. I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Tianxu. 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 I like a lot about Tianxu, and the first thing I like is its name. The GitHub's README explains, In Chinese, Tianxu means divinely ordained and is derived from the gift of being born with. Tianxu is a reinforcement learning platform, and the reinforcement learning algorithm does not learn from humans. So taking Tianxu means that there is no teacher to study with, but rather to learn by themselves through constant interaction with the environment. This description makes me feel like a deity. <laughs> this whole time, I've been creating life forms and watching over them. And sometimes they learn to be quite impressive. <laughs> I'm an okay deity. The next thing I like about Tianxu, it uses PyTorch. I've used TensorFlow, Keras, and PyTorch, and of the three, PyTorch is my favorite way to make neural networks. Tianxu gives us plenty of examples to learn from, uh, another thing I like about Tianxu, which I can investigate right away because I'm familiar with PyTorch. Let's take a look. Here's Tianxu's first example, which does not use soft actor critic. It works on discrete action spaces, not continuous action spaces. Let's work our way up to that. Here's the inverted pendulum you and I know and love from OpenAI Jim. It's not falling over. It's standing up. I just showed you the whole duration of its training. In under 20 seconds, Tianxu's robot figured out this game pretty well. Let's see how Tianxu is doing this. First, it imports a few packages, and then it sets some parameters and hyperparameters. The program checks out the OpenAI Gym environment we tell it to try just to inspect the observation space and the action space. These are fed to a function called net, which returns a neural network, accepting observations as inputs and returning action rewards as outputs. We make an optimizer for it too. We put the neural network and its optimizer into a policy, a deep Q network policy which we pair with a list of environments to make a training collector, and pair with another list of environments to make a testing collector. The collectors can actually run multiple open AI gym environments at once. That's one way to train real quick. Finally, we put the policy and both collectors in a trainer, an off policy trainer. If we're training on policy, the agent interacts with its environment, trains on the experiences it just sampled, and then deletes those experiences. This might leave the agent stuck in a greedy policy without enough exploration. That's how I've been training in my last few videos. Training off policy means the agent doesn't just train on its latest experiences. It samples experiences from across its history and replays them. So its current policy trains on experiences collected by the previous policies. I tried this in my first video about reinforcement learning and then forgot about it, <laughs> but uh, off-policy training is apparently usually better. I also tried this example on the double pendulum. It didn't work well at first, so I changed a hyperparameter to train on more open AI gym environments at once. And then, after the same duration of training, it was pretty good. Last, I tried the mountain car. This is the only OpenAI gym classic environment, which can be either discrete or continuous action space. Since Zianzhou's first example can't play this discrete one very well, we'd better hope a soft actor critic works a little better on the continuous one. Tianxu's example of a soft actor critic just takes a few changes. Instead of making one neural network, we make three. One is an actor, one is a critic, and another one is also a critic. We give all three of them to a different kind of policy, the SAC policy. 
train the policy in an off policy trainer, and there you have it. So how does it do on the mountain car continuous environment? Oh, it's not good. But I can change the hyperparameters to help. Wow. Okay, it, it doesn't win every single time, but it looks like it knows what it's doing. So. What's soft actor critic? I've described actor critic before, but what does it mean to be soft? I've tried looking into Tian Shou's implementation, but I might need to keep working with Tian Shou for a while to figure it out. Let's look at the paper proposing the soft actor critic. This part of the abstract sums it up. The soft actor critic is an off policy actor critic algorithm, an actor critic meant to be trained on an off policy model based on the Maximum Entropy Reinforcement Learning Framework. In this framework, the actor aims to simultaneously maximize expected return and entropy, that is, to succeed at the task while acting as randomly as possible. This helps provide a better variety of data by encouraging exploration. Still not sure why it takes two critics in Jianchu, though. I, I, I think I'm starting to understand this stuff. <laughs> That's all I do here at Thanksgiving. Next time, maybe I'll be applying Jianchu to my own PyBullet environment instead of the classics from OpenAI Gym. Or I'll manage to install Mujoko. That's what it takes to play with OpenAI Gym's coolest robot environments. But I, um, <laughs> I, won't, I won't do Slither.io for a while. <laughs> Online, I've heard people complaining about robots in the game, and obviously bots with websites as their name, I don't like those either. So I'm gonna hold back from Slither.io until I think my robots are up for it. <laughs> I noticed one time, when I trained a robot in Slither.io, someone followed the robot. I wonder if they were mad because it was obviously a bot, or if they were curious. What is this thing? Why is it doing that? I'm hoping for curiosity. I I'd rather be curious than angry. <laughs> bye bye By the way, I've got a Patreon at patreon.com slash thinkster. I want to thank all these squidlings and elder squids. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>